And when I got here and checked in my uh, side yard, I saw some uh, wild cattails out here. And if they're still in good shape, I'm gonna cut them and use them for fall decorations. Yeah, I guess they're okay. See them? All right, let me cut this off so I can cut them. Here's how many I've found so far. And I just cut them long, and then I shake them good to make sure I get rid of all the seeds out of them. Okay, so I got what I wanted, and uh, what I did was I left the stems really long, and that way I could hang them up and let uh, the leaves that are still kind of green, let them finish dying off and turn brown. And this, plus hanging them up, the wind will kind of help get rid of the rest of the seeds. And then I'll show you what we'll do with them. All right, guys. Um, now, I've let these hang out for five days to finish drying. And all the green on them has turned brown. All the leaves that were green turned brown. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these. And if all of them aren't too good, like if they're too shabby or wrinkled or whatever, then I'll just strip them all off. Then trim it. I'm laying these in a pile over here behind me so but anyway you just go through don't you can, I guess you could save the top ones if you want like these right here at the very top see they come all the way down but I don't do that I always get rid of the the very top one and I usually try to save about the third one down and it should look like this with one little thing on it and then lay it in your pile all right now that we got them cleaned and uh, trimmed down where we want them now I'm just taking some a little bit of string and I'm going to bundle these back up they should look nice and clean and fresh like this but I left one leaf on each one of them And you want to do these very tightly because hanging them outside the wind's gonna drop them if you don't get them right this is um, starch clothes starch that you iron with and what I do is I take them outside and I spray it real good and then I set them up to let them dry and what that does it keeps the little fuzzy heads from falling out falling apart once you spray them and you hang them out in the sun to dry they're there for good um, if you don't want to leave them natural color you can always go to uh, Dollar Tree you can spray paint these any color you want I like mine natural for fall but you can also take uh, the, the craft spray glue spray on glue and spray them and then sprinkle uh, any color um, glitter that you want to on there and then hang them out to dry but once you do that once they dry then you want to spray the whole thing with hairspray over the glue and that will help lock in that glitter that the glue didn't catch and it keeps glitter from falling all over your house okay now these are dry I let them hang out in the sun for a while then I'm going to cut them loose and I'm going to let them all fall even and then I'm going to spread them out. That's the old uh, base that I could find that looked more fall than anything. But anyway, there's that. We're going to find different things to decorate around this little pumpkin so let's see 
let's go with this first. Early, early, early ball. You can put a live plant with it. I know the lighting's not the best. But anyway, this is the way I do it for uh, mid fall, like at the beginning of fall. Then maybe put some oranges flowers like that. And right here on the end of this counter is probably where they're going to stay. There's the second choice. Then the closer to Halloween we get, you can move that back. And I have a terracotta pumpkin here that I can put that, the pumpkin in there and light a little candle and it becomes a Halloween decoration for the month of October. See the really nice colored flowers behind it. Just pretty. All right, and then maybe after Halloween or something, you can move all of that out and Maybe move in a little base of uh, little purple flowers. I got those out of my back flower garden. They're just so cute. And just purple. The color is just perfect. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So what I'm saying is, is you have all kinds of stuff around your house that you can make your house look very ball and it's just absolutely beautiful you switch it up and switch it out and you know move stuff around just bunch of you know make sure they're all fall colors I just love these little pink flowers but anyway you you just got all kinds of choices to make little fall decorations and I didn't have to go out and buy anything this is stuff that's already at my house you know just put your stuff in there and just bring it together decorate it to how you want it look at that isn't that pretty and it's great for an outside table or just sitting right here on my countertop I really like it. You know, crowd it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And these things here, they will last for a long time. Once you put that starch on it and they don't fall apart anymore, they'll last for up to a year. And they're just really pretty. And like I said, you can spray paint them any colors you want. Do orange and yellow and red for fall. Or spray them with uh, spray adhesive, sprinkle glitter in them. Use what's in your yard. Use what's around your house. So see, I am getting use out of the flowers that grow around my house. Halloween over. Do it like that. Make you a little fall scenery. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoy this.